Hi guys, this is going to be the tutorial that's going to show you how to do these sneaky clusters. To do this stitch, you can use any size yarn and whatever hook size that that yarn recommends. I'm using worsted weight yarn, 4 ply for the US, 10 ply for Australia, and I'm using a 5 millimeter hook or a size 8 hook for the US. The multiples of this stitch is 8 plus 2, and what that means is that you're going to loosely chain in sets of 8, 8, 8, 8 until you reach your desired width. Then once you have, you'll chain 2 more and you'll be ready to begin row 1. And I recommend if you have a difficult time chaining loosely with the hook that you're planning to use for your main part of your project, I would go up one more hook size. So for instance, I'm using a 5 millimeter hook size H for the US. And one hook size up from that would be a 6 millimeter hook or size J. And you'd use that just to make the chain. Then you'll switch back over to your, your main hook you want to use for your crochet. And then continue from there. So I've done my multiples of eight. I have it the width that I want. So I'm gonna go ahead and chain two more. And I'm ready to begin row one. For row one, you wanna begin with doing a single crochet in the second chain from the hook. So count over one, two, and in the second chain here, you'll put a single crochet. Then you'll wanna chain two, and you wanna skip over three chains. So one, two, three, so this fourth one over, you want to work two double crochets into that one chain space. So that's one and two. Then you'll chain two and working in the same space still, you'll put two more double crochets. And then again, you'll chain two. Then we'll skip three chains again. One, two, three. So this fourth one over here, you want to put a single crochet. And that's the end of our repeat. So we're going to repeat that again. So you'll chain two, skip three, one, two, three. So in this fourth one over, we're going to do two double crochets. chain two, and then two double crochets worked in that same chain space. And then we'll, when we get done with that, again, you're going to chain two, and you'll skip three, one, two, three, so in this fourth one over, you'll put a single crochet. So again, you're going to repeat that again. You'll chain two, skip three, fourth chain over, you'll work your two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets, all in the same chain. Then you'll chain two again, skip three, and then single crochet in the next stitch. You'll continue that all the way down your row. Okay, I just did my last double crochet, two double crochets, chain two double crochets, then I'll chain two, then you'll skip three, you should have three, uh, sorry, four chains here at the end. So you'll skip three of the chains, and in the fourth one, you'll do a single crochet to end your row one. So for row two, and the repeat for this is going to be rows two through five. So if you want to mark where the video is right now. So for row two, you want to chain three and turn. And now you want to find your two double crochets, chain two, do, two do, do, little, little. <laughs> you want to find your two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. You're going to be working in these two double crochets here, and you're going to put one double crochet in each of your double crochets. So I'm going to find my first one here, put a double crochet. My hook, I mean my loop's a little big there. Let me shrink my loop a little bit. Try this again. There we go, okay. And then again, a double crochet in the next double crochet. Okay, so then you wanna chain two, and we're ready to work our cluster here in our chain two, that big old space we have here in between our two double crochets. So our chain three, no, it's a chain two. So we're gonna be working five double crochet decreases. So what that means is you're gonna yarn over 
go into that big old chain two space, pull up a loop, yarn over only pull through two. And you're going to do that total of five times, so that was one. Then you'll yarn over, go into that big old chain two space, pull up a loop, yarn over only pull through two. So that's twice. Do that three more times. can scoot your stitches over to make some more room here. Okay, we got five done, six loops on our hook. You want to yarn over, pull through all six of those loops. Then you want to chain two. And then you're going to repeat on this side what we did over here. You're going to work one double crochet in each of your double crochets here. So that's one double crochet, find the next one. Do a double crochet. Then we're going to move over to here and repeat. So we're going to work a double crochet again. One double crochet in that double crochet, and one double crochet in that double crochet. And then again, we want to chain two. And working in our chain two space here, we're going to do our next cluster using our double crochet decreases. So yarn over, go into that chain two space, pull up a loop, only pull through two. Remember, you'll do that five times. That's two, three, four, and five. Six loops on your hook, pull through all six loops, and chain two. And then on this side, you'll do your double crochet worked in your next two double crochets here. So we'll always have double crochets worked in our double crochets before. Then you'll chain two, cluster, chain two, double crochet in the next two. And then when you're ready to start your next section, just come over here and start your double crochet right in the next set of double crochets. Don't forget to chain two and then start your cluster. And you're going to keep repeating this down your row. Three, four, five, pull through all six loops, chain two. You're going to work a double crochet in your next two double crochets like you did before. Then to end your row, you're going to find the single crochet here, the very first single crochet, or I guess, yeah, of our row, last row. And you're going to work a double crochet in that. So just yarn over and work a double crochet in that single crochet. And that will end row two. Okay, for row three, you want to chain three and turn. And then, if you remember here, you can see our cluster, and then we worked our two double crochets and our double crochets. And then the very last stitch we did was a double crochet. Well, between these du two double crochets and this final double crochet of our row, we created a space. That's the space we want to work in. In this space, you want to put two double crochets. One and two. Then you'll chain two. You'll come over to your cluster, your first cluster here. And in the space, you can clearly see here, there's two stitches here and two stitches here. This, this is your chain two. So right here is the top of your cluster. You're going to go there and put a single crochet and then chain two. Whatever stitch that you pick here, you want to be consistent and keep using that stitch over and over again. So there's a chain two, and which brings us to our spaces here between our sets of double crochets. We have two double crochets going this way, and then two double crochets going this way. And in between them is this big old space. 
this base here is what we're going to be using and you're going to work um, two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. So in this big old space here, start working our two double crochets. It's one and two. Then you'll chain two and in that same space you'll put two double crochets. We're creating the space just like we did for row one. Remember we were doing the two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets in our chain. We're essentially doing the same thing. This is where we'll be putting our cluster in next row. So after you've got your two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets, you're going to chain two again and then you're going to find that same stitch in your cluster and to do a single crochet in. Then you'll chain two and then again in this big old space you're going to work your two double crochets, chain two, and then two double crochets. Then again you're going to want to chain two. Find that stitch you want to use here. There's two chains on this side and then there's two on this side. So I'm going to go into that top middle one and put a single crochet. Then you'll do chain two and then you'll just keep repeating this for your row till you get to the end of your row which will be just like we did at the beginning. You'll have your two double crochets and then this single and then you'll use this big space here on the end and you'll put two double crochets worked into that one space and then you'll find the top of your chain three. You want to count one, two, three. You'll three chains up. It's easier to count that way. So this third chain up you want to put a double crochet. And that will end row three. Okay, for row four you want to chain five. One, two, three, four, and five and then turn and you're going to skip over um, one, okay so you have two double crochets here and then you have your chain two space, single crochet, chain two space and then you have your next which is your set of two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. So you're only going to be using these two double crochets from here and then your two double crochets at the start. So not this ending one, the other two. So these two and these two. And you're going to be working a double crochet in each one of those. No chaining in between, just double crochet in those. So I'm going to find my first one here. Put a double crochet in that one. Then my second one here double crochet in that one. Then I'm going to come over here and find my big old chain which is helps me to find my two double crochets beside it. So I'm going to put a double crochet in this first one then a double crochet in the next one as well. Okay, after that we're going to be doing our clusters again. So you'll do a chain of two one, two, and in this big space we're going to work our cluster. So you'll yarn over, go into the big space, pull through only two, and you'll do that five times. Yarn over, pull up a loop, only pull through two. So you have six loops on your hook. You'll pull through all six loops and chain two. Then now you're going to be working your double crochets again. So I'm going to put one double crochet in these two double crochets on this side. Then I'm going to come on over find my big space here which will help me find my two double crochets on this side and I'm going to start my double crochets worked on this side. Then after that you'll chain two and start working your next cluster in your chain two space here. 
three, four, and five. We'll do all six loops, chain two, and then again we're going to be working our double crochets. And you'll keep repeating this for the row. And then here at the very end of your row is going to be just like you did at the beginning. You're going to be using these two double crochets here, which leaves you with the chain at the very end. You'll work, you'll do a chain of two and work one double crochet in the top of your chain three. And that's how you'll end your row. So you did two double crochets, you chained two, and then you double crocheted in your top of your chain three to end row four. So for row five, and row five is the end of your repeats. So you want to chain one and turn, and you want to work a single crochet in this very first double crochet of the row. Then you'll chain two, and then in this big space, just like before, you have two double crochets facing this way, and then you have two double crochets facing this way, and you have this big space in between. In this big space here, you're going to be working two double crochets, one and two, whoops, you'll chain two, one, two, and then two more double crochets worked into that big space. So two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets worked in that big space. Then you'll chain two. You'll find that center stitch you were using here. You have a chain two on either side, and in this middle stitch here, you'll put a single crochet. Then you'll chain two, and then you'll start here in this big space again with your two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. Then the repeat is that you'll chain two, single crochet again in that top of your cluster, chain two, and then again you're going to repeat your two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. And you'll repeat this for your whole row until you get to the very end like I'm about to be. So as normal when you get to the end of your row, you'll chain two. And then to finish your row, you're going to have to count up your chain. It'll be in your middle chain. This is a chain of five, so you can count one, two, and three over here, or you can count one, two, and then three over. It's usually easier for me to count from the bottom up. So one, two, three in this third chain you'll put a single crochet. And that will end the repeat, that will end row five. So now you can back up the video to row two and I'll take you through it all again. So that's it guys, I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please don't forget to hit like and share and comment down below, it helps me out so much. And if you always want to be notified whenever I release a new tutorial, you can go to my main YouTube page and right next to the subscribe button there's a little bell. And if you click that, it'll always let you know whenever I release a new tutorial. If you're wondering what hook I was using in the video, it's a wooden furls hook. Um, you can find the link below this video. And if you order one, I recommend you order it with an extended hook. If not, you're only going to get half the size. Also, I have a Facebook group called Crochet for the Masses where you can go and share pictures of your projects that you're currently working on or have just finished or even old projects that you've done that you really liked. We love to see any crochet project whenever you've done it. Uh, if you like it, share it with us. Um, you can find that link below this video as well. Um, come, share links to free patterns, ask questions. It's a good group to be a part of. I really hope I see you there. So that's it. Thanks for watching.